Good morning, modern steaders. I know, I'm wearing a winter hat again this morning. <laughs> oh, here it is, the month of June, and it's 38 degrees out this morning, guys. It's just ridiculous. We need some warm weather coming to northern New Hampshire. Good morning, crazy white chicken. Good morning, pigs. You didn't need all your food from last night. Come on and figure out. Pigs can be pretty nocturnal, so I like to feed them later at night, around like 8, 8.30 at night when I go out and lock up the goats. Some nights they eat it all, and last night they didn't. I'm gonna let out the baby goats first this morning and see if that works. Come on, baby goats. You kiddos wanna come out? Good morning. Come on out. Nope. Come on in, girls. We hear you, baby goats. You guys like making lots of noise, don't you? Wanted to take a minute and thank everybody. We're about 5,000 subscribers away from hitting 100,000 subscribers. So if you're not subscribed to the channel, now's a great time to do it and help us get over the 100,000 subscriber milestone. Little man likes making a lot of noises. Oh, he's crazy. Save the rest for your babies. Got about two cups again today, guys. You ready to go see your babies? <clears throat> this way. Go get your babies. They said, oh, mom, we're so thirsty. Little pee. You're not gonna go see if Will left anything behind for you, Hope? The other girls are checking it out. Yeah. You can't have any Willow's milk. That's our milk. You feeling better this morning, Tanner? Funnel head. Huh? You feeling better? He's not even phased by the cone, is he? No. I mean, unless he runs into things, which he has done a lot. He has. Like, he'll be walking down the hallway, and then he'll run into the door. No, nope, you can't have the cat. I hear the bus. I Have a good day at school. I love, you. love you. Have fun on your, what's it today? Field, field day? day? Well, field hour and a half. Field hour and a half. We'll have fun at your field day. Okay. Tanner's supposed to be on light duty for 10 to 14 days. No going around, running outside, chasing chickens or Figaro. I don't see that happening for that long, but at least we can keep him inside for a day or two without chasing the chickens. He wasn't happy this morning. How are you guys doing? We got three black copper marrons and two olive egg layers in there. I gotta sit down and figure out exactly when we're gonna butcher our meat birds. It's only gotta be two, maybe three weeks at the most, but they're getting huge, guys.
fresh grass for you guys, fresh bedding. There you go. And crazy white chickens inside NYC. Ah, she must love food. Figaro. Morning, CW. And they're all off. I gotta stop feeding them more over this way so they start eating this grass. We'll easily get another week out of the location where New York City is right now. It's nice when the grass is thick, we don't have to move it, but every two to three weeks, which is nice. We're gonna work on getting this area prepped this morning. First, we need to get a little bit more of this pile moved out of the way right here. So we gotta have eight feet in between anyways. And then we need to raise up the outer edge a little bit. Let's check the grade, see how far we need to bring up this outer edge. That right there is level. And that outer edge is nine inches. You know what? We might just be better off building our forms. And the outer edge, we gotta go a foot deep anyways. And then backfilling it with sand where it needs to get leveled off, played it, get the forms dug, instead of filling it. Let's do that first. Yeah. That's a good idea. I got to thinking, why do I want to dig out where the footings are going by hand? Why don't I get the Kubota running, back drag, dig out a small ditch, and then we can backfill it later on and save us some heavy lifting, having to shovel out 30 feet, probably 60 feet worth of footings. this other hammer our string and I need the screws at some point too and these we need 98 inches from the outer edge to the concrete slab One of the things I did yesterday is I notched about an inch and a half out on one side. That way it'll sit up against my footing. And if there's like a pebble or something, I'm not fighting it. I can move this up and down and level everything out without having to worry about being too high on this end. This way I can make adjustments here, up and down, and I'm good. I'm not fighting the concrete. 
Checking to see here if we got a foot from the top of the two by six to the bottom right, of the gravel. If we do, there. I know we got the grade right on this side, and I can stop raking all the way around, going back to the other corner as my reference for grade. here. Put a shim in for now. That'll do right there. Shim it up until we get all the stakes in. It's a smidge high, but that'll be perfect for right now while we get this all set up. The whole thing needs to come up like that, and like that. I like it like that. All right. Let's get a stake in the ground. Go back here. As close as we can get it. Awesome. We're good right there. Set the height. We get a duplex nail. Set the height of the board, which is right there. We're good here. Oh, we're a little high. Let's go right there. I like it. Ah, perfect. Let's check for level. And we are a tad high right there. All right, so before we do anything, let's set that back corner. And then we'll set, we'll check it for square after that back corner is set. Let's check this foot level. We need to come up. All right. Let's do this again. Want the end to lift up, not the back. Yeah. All right, that's high. No, it's still low. Let's put it here. This 
smidge low, but let's get that set in place. I don't like how it's I want it to be up tight close to the form. Thirty-one feet, one inch and a half is what we need. Thirty-one feet, one inch and a half. So that means we got to shift it that way. Too much 31 feet 2 inches we gotta come back a half inch towards me I bet that went too much it's like on that tipping point oh no that's perfect right there guys 31 feet one and a half I like it all right let's grab our level and this stuff if I'm talking loud guys it's because I got my earphones still on so I apologize if it sounds like I'm yelling at you. A smidge high, so we'll leave it like that for now. We can tap it down after. As long as we're below the two by six, we're good. Check our measurement again. 31. So we moved a smidge, which I'm not surprised. So we gotta go that way a little bit, just a little. So let me put the nail in. See if that did it. That's perfect right there. 31 and a half. 31, one and a half. That's not bad. We're straight, we just bowed out and we'll get that as we work it. I like it. How's that looking? And that looks good. That one's level right there too. So we can nail that stake off.
that I got all the stakes put in the form. The forms are leveled and squared off. I'm gonna backfill all around it, get everything prepped and ready to go. I have a two by six spanning across the edge of the form in the concrete slab and I'm measuring to make sure that we have the right height. We want six inches so where it's low we're going to fill some more sand in there and we're going to get it compacted. It amazes me how smooth that sand gets after you plate compact it. <sighs> All right, I go around, check it, see if we got any low spots, and if we do, I'll put some more sand down and do the same process. So overall, it's going to be 32 by 30. Did you have a good day at your field day? Yeah. You kiddos, whenever I put hay up there, you got to jump on top of it, huh? And knock it off. Okay, nope, so. little man. <laughs> Did you let Willow escape? <laughs> Did she barge her way right through you? Yeah. She ain't gonna go far. Want me to get her? No. I'll chase her back in. Go that way. She's like, I want a treat. You got more treats than you need, Come on. I'll get the gate for you. <laughs> oh. You got her? Willow, no. Willow! You're so naughty, Willow. Come on, Willow. You're so naughty. Your babies want you. See? Your babies want you. See? She's a naughty goat. She thinks she's the boss. You don't like that Hope can sneak her head out and get a treat, huh? Is that some good grass there, Hope? Is that good? Is 
He doesn't want to stay in the house. Do you girls lay lots of eggs? Oh, moose. What? Only four eggs today. Oh, I thought there was four in that basket and then... What? They're really slacking now. Huh, I wonder what's going on. Maybe they're laying on the ground. Or like under their bed. They could be lying under there or in there. Oh. Hey. They're not laying inside New York City, I just checked, but I wonder if they're laying underneath. Hmm. You keeping an eye on the new chicks there, Figaro? Tanner, you're not supposed to run. No running, dude. You guarding them? Are you trying to figure out how to get in there to eat them? We got both the pads formed up now. We gotta do some minor tweaking right before we go to pour the slabs. We'll put some remesh in them, get them ready to pour, but we're gonna wait till the day or the day before pouring. And now we just gotta wait for some weather without rain in the forecast and for some good friends to show up and give us a hand. So I think it's gonna be two days or a little bit more before we get to pour the concrete, but man, it feels good to be this far along in the project. The concrete's one of those things, you don't think it takes a lot of time, but it does, and it's an important step. So I'm glad we're there. I'm excited and I'm pumped. I can't wait till we're done pouring. But man, it's been a great day on the homestead. You guys are a true blessing to us in our homestead. And just remember, it's not when we fail that we, we lose, it's if we don't learn from that experience. There's so many things we can learn from. It's not a mistake, it's a mistake, or it's a retake. It's a chance to do it over again, it's a chance to learn. There's so much stuff in life we get to learn from and that is a true blessing. Thanks for coming along on our journey with us guys and we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.